The Army Training and Doctrine Command has a new home. The 263,676 square foot facility brings the command officially from historic Fort Monroe to Joint Base Langley Eustis in Newport News, Virginia, where workers will be leaving behind beautiful views for a modern and technologically advanced office building. It's never been about a great you know, view of the ocean. It's really been about the work, and I think this building will facilitate that work far better than where we were at Fort Monroe. One of the main reasons it will assist in the TRADOC mission of developing new training and proceedings procedures is it combines the command into one building. And right now we live in a facility, a tremendous historic facility, but 27 separate buildings. Packed with the latest in telecommunications, audiovisual, and secure systems technology, the headquarters building gives the command the tools that they didn't have, nor would they be able to get had they stayed in their Fort Monroe location. The facilities at Fort Monroe, although historic as they are, just don't have the technological advancements. It also has advanced technology incorporated into its design to make it energy efficient. Spaces that are not occupied, not only do the lights automatically adjust, but the temperature in the room and the humidity in the room also adjust. The building also includes extra insulation, energy efficient window coatings, and a white roof, helping it to achieve a leadership in energy and environmental design silver rating. Construction of the $95 million facility was overseen by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers who worked closely with its client, TRADOC, to make sure the building met the needs in helping to advance the command's mission and goals. The Corps of Engineers uh, always uh, takes care of the soldier. From Newport News, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood.